that's all I think about during the days pretty much. I'm always doing something probably related to FPV, either looking up a, a cool video on YouTube or checking on the, all the groups on Facebook and seeing what's going on in the community. So FPV stands for first person view. It uses a camera mounted on the front of the quad to send a signal back to a pair of goggles that you use to fly the quadcopter. It's really free. Being able to zoom next to trees and go through gates, and it's, it gives you this, this buzz, this adrenaline rush. It's, you can't beat it. I feel like we are at the beginning of something big. You know, I feel like I'm 15 all over again. Being a Star Wars fan, it was just, it looked so good. It looked like pod racing. We want to make this a viable competition. A year from now, it could rival the X Games. It could rival what we have seen skateboarding and surfing do. So there's going to be four of us racing. Uh, winner moves on to the next round, so we'll see how far I go. And this is lap three, guys. It's helped me overcome a lot of mental hurdles. A couple of years ago, I got a really rare autoimmune disease called Good Pasture Syndrome. Uh, what happened, my immune system decided to attack my lungs and kidneys. Long story short, spent about six months in the ICU. Um, blessed to have made it through, truly blessed. But uh, it's, been, it's been a tough road getting back on my feet. I don't have a lot of stamina, um, but this is like giving me something that I really want to push for. The last few months that I've started flying FPV, I can honestly say uh, my physical condition has been really improving. All right. All right, three. The sport is growing so rapidly that there is money coming out of everywhere and we are seeing cash prizes ranging from $5,000 to $100,000 uh, for the purse. Hey, right 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 <laughs> One of the technological advancements that the, these quadcopters received was having affordable, high-powered, first-person view video transmitters. It's as if you were piloting this aircraft sitting inside that quadcopter by yourself. the brain of the guy and uh, got to be a pretty decent solderer to be able to solder onto this thing. I've been trying to get about 40 to 50 flights a weekend um, practicing for the, the finals. I'll be flying against Charpu, some pretty big names from, from YouTube, some popular guys, some really good pilots. I have to say I'm a little intimidated to go up against Charpu. Well, my name is Carlos Puertolas, but online and on, on the drone community, my, my nickname is Charpu. Uh, Charpu is close, is close to a god of FPV, I think, as, as you can get. And my most popular videos are all on like, abandoned places. I like, went to Spain, and that's probably my video that had the most views, is abandoned hospital in Spain. There was a construction that was going on, so that was like a paradise for FPV flying. And now it's not arming anymore. I come back from a background of, you know, extreme sports. I love skateboarding, inline skating, snowboarding, all of that kind of stuff. So this is kind of like an outlet for the same kind of adrenaline, but without hurting yourself. You know. This is like, I'm getting noise even when I'm low throttle. It doesn't change. I love the idea of meeting up late at night and bring out your quadcopters or drones and racing them, you know, in a way just feels like Fight Club. We're here at the IRDA California Cup Finals. Uh, just prepping over the quad, making sure we're ready to ready to go race it. Charpu right behind me, we'll, we'll see how he does. Racers, we are going racing in three. Two, one. It's hard 
to tell what's going on when you're racing. Because you might see somebody in front of you, but you don't know who it is. You know, it's impossible. Ended up hitting the wall. It was a fun time though. Um, ended up coming in fourth in the finals, but really excited. I made it all the way to the finals. Um, raced against some really awesome pilots, Charpoo being one of them. It was a blast. Um, such a rush with all the cameras and pressure, and uh, it's a good time. I didn't do too bad. I finished second on one of the 3S races. It's fun. It's kind of like we all land and we look at each other like, what happened? My recovery has almost been exponential since uh, since starting FPV. Yeah, no, I finally found uh, a calling where I, I can kind of excel in, and I can totally see myself racing these things for years and years to come.